Hey guys, welcome to the Come Again Podcast. Where all geek culture collide. We're your hosts, I'm Shannon. I'm John Weiss. And this week we got some news for you. It's supposed to be news in a flash. Yep. It's not very fast. No, no. <laughs> but it's kind of cool because Flash and, you know, comic books. Yeah. You might as well just call this news in an Aquaman, but whatever. <laughs> About as lame. Aquaman's becoming cooler. Ooh, somebody stick him in a fridge. <laughs> All right, so the X-Men movies and the TV shows won't be linked. No shared universe. Uh, Lauren Schuller Donner confirmed Legion and the X-Men movies won't be connected. Now, is he related to Richard Donner? I don't know. She, she. I don't know. What did you, wait, what did you, what did you call her? Lauren Schuller Donner. Okay, I didn't hear you pronounce Lauren correctly. I was going to give a shit I about it. I got, 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 got the original copy of, Wolver- of the Wolverine. That's good. Yeah, it was good. I think I might like the first Wolverine or the Eggman better than that one. Really? Mm-hmm. Uh, for those wondering, this is uh, Gary. He's a regular customer, so you might chime in here and there. Um, um, we what, have. What do you think? What do you think about that? About <sighs> what do I think? I think of everything else everybody thinks. Marvel needs to get the X Men movies back. Why would you not want to try to connect that to your X-Men franchise? Uh, the reasoning behind it, I guess, was because there's going to be a lot of messing with the timeline on the Legion show. And so they didn't want to have to worry about messing things up for X-Men. Wait, why is there time messing? That's I, not one of his abilities, is it? Well, besides the whole Age of Apocalypse thing. <laughs> oh, he did go back in time. Yeah. Okay. All right. I guess it is one of his psychic, yeah. psychotic abilities. Yeah. All right. All right. I guess that makes sense. Uh, I didn't hear the reasoning behind it, so I didn't. All right. So I guess it makes sense. I, mean, I am looking forward to the, the series, though. Um, he's not a character you would normally sympathize with. He's, he's always been a psychotic villain. Uh, he's schizophrenic. Eats eat, each... Each schizophrenic character has a different power, which is very much in line as uh, what's your name's power from Heroes. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, also, the Gotham season finale will be teasing Harley Quinn. Yay! Um, I like Gotham for the most part. They're really going uh, the Smallville season, route. Th- yeah, they uh, they went. They, I think they had a plan. And it just kind of spiraled out of control. Mm. Uh, I am happy they're bringing, they, brought, they started bringing Jerome back in last night's episode, which was very lackluster in my opinion. See, I'm, uh, like I this said. this idiot like I, didn't freaking keep, uh, keep up and, oh, I, was, I was even watching wrestling and going back and going, you. Well, I'll watch it. To, see, I was busy working on videos, trying to get us subscribers. And what's man. part of your videos? Huh? Re- what's part of your videos? <laughs> Reviews. <laughs> See, the thing Which is... Which you didn't watch Lucifer last night. Oh, Lucifer was on. Oh, Lucifer, yeah. You missed Lucifer. I didn't watch it, but... Uh, well, I can, I can catch him on demand tonight, though, so... Yeah, that, I'm going to go back the, and re-watch Gotham. That's the good I, thing about having on-demand services. Is but that, I, I wasn't really impressed with the episode. Um, so, uh, they, I mean, the cool thing, there were a few cool things. They did hint at the uh, Cult of Jerome. Um, there's some weird shit going on with Joker and Enigma that I didn't understand. Um, so, uh, Eddie Thawne will return to the season three of Flash. Uh, I don't think it's specified if he was going to be a villain or not, hmm. but, uh. Since the timeline did get kind of messed up, I'm wondering kinda? if. Yeah, well. Very fucked up. <laughs> 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 I, I was trying not to say that, <laughs> Oh, you want to know? Oh, suddenly you want to keep this a family friend like <laughs> news, news in the flash, not gonna happen. <laughs> uh, Superman is set to debut uh, as a more classic looking costume. They um, won't be returning the trunks, but they will be returning the red boots. Right, and the, the cuffs. Yeah, and okay. they're removing the cuffs, so. And uh, that's going to be in Superman number 20 and Action Comics number 977. So, uh, Star, Wars, Star, Wars, Star Wars will not bring back Carrie Fisher's Leia with CGI. Uh, we pointed this out last week. I'm good either way. Yeah, it... it it's, this will be it, it, more challenging. Yeah. Um, 
story arc for them. And then, and then yeah, uh, it, it will be disappointing to future fans who don't really know, you know who who aren't really aware of her dying right now. You know, the, they'll be. Now I apologize if I get her name wrong, um, but the, the girl who played Eleven in Stranger Things is her uh -huh. name Jackie Brown. I'm not sure. I think her name is J and I, I could be I could be wrong. I know her last name is Brown. Um, she is uh, fighting to play a young Princess Leia in one of these uh, side story art, like Han Solo or Boba Fett. That would be interesting. And I if could... you look at her, her, and you look at younger pictures of Carrie Fisher, they look so much alike. See, I think she looks a lot like the um, oh, the lady from the uh, '90s version of Miracle on 34th Street, the mother. Okay. I think she also played on Independence Day. She's a redhead. She she look they they could oh, be mother I, and daughter. I, 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 I don't know. I think she looked a lot like young Carrie Fisher. Um, we have some sad news. news. Yeah, sad news in the wrestling world. Uh, we lost a Hall of Fame. Le Whoa. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. What are you doing to my computer, man? Didn't touch it. Um, some sad news. Yeah. Uh, we lost a, a legendary Hall of Famer in the wrestling world. Uh, a few, uh, a few days ago this weekend and uh and jimmy superfly snooker but we've got some good news too betty white is still kicking but betty white just <laughs> celebrated her birthday at age 97 i think so Jeez. Uh, oh, 94 97 somewhere around there she's still alive um <laughs> she just celebrated her birthday so happy birthday to betty white um and it was just announced last night made official uh, Kurt Angle will be uh, inducted into the Hall of Fame this year. It's also speculated that Undertaker will be the headliner for the Hall of Fame. I'm, I'm thinking they're going to wait till next year now that they put uh, Angle in there. I think Angle is going to be the headliner. Um, but there's also rumor that Ravishing Rick Rude. Um, Those are all confirmed. No, they're not yet. Not yet. Rick Rude, um, uh, Irwin R. Scheister, also known as Mike Rotunda. Uh, the natural disasters. Um, I feel like I'm I'm missing some here. Uh, it's speculated that, and th th this is kind of big an uproar in the wrestling world. Beth Phoenix is rumored. Uh, really? Yes. Before Miss Elizabeth, before Ivy, Molly Holly, China, before you know uh, Bull Nakano, before any of that, they're going to try. The rumor is they're going to put um, Beth Phoenix in. No, it's not taking anything away from Beth Phoenix. She was a great wrestler. She was one of the few great uh, female wrestlers that they had at the time. Um, but she's... She, she, I think she's just going to put her in there because of who her husband is. Who's her husband? Edge. Oh, okay. Oh, Christian was another one. Christian was another mm. rumor. So, um, as soon as I get my uh, wrestling podcast, The Pit, going, I'll be going more over wrestling, saving the wrestling news for that. Um, also... So, a few people have been confirmed for Avengers of Infinity War. Uh, Nebula will be returning. Spider-Man. Uh, Benedict Cumberbatch will be using a stand-in until he can, they can do reshoots. Right. Uh, because of the scheduling with Sherlock, which I did finally finish the series. I just haven't done watched that Christmas episode yet. Oh, you got to watch that Christmas yeah. episode. That was a brilliant. I, I like the route they're going with Moriarty. It's probably the, the best... Um, I think it's the best episode they've done of Sherlock, and I love that entire series. Um, and here's one I just found out today from this guy. Go ahead. Jeff Bridges may be playing Dark Side, not Dark Seed, like most people call him. His name is fucking Dark Side. You okay. illiterate comic book morons. Um, <laughs> thank you for insulting our audience. <laughs> I'm sure they appreciate that. <laughs> That, um, I'm sorry, that's one of my pet peeves when people, ignorant people, call him Dark Seed. Well, if they would have spelt it the right way, <laughs> instead of leaving it open for interpretation. Well, that just proves you're not a true geek. If you're if you're calling him Dark Seed. There have been multiple cartoons that have called him both, though. I've never heard. I've heard a couple of In the original people. Superpowers, Galactic Guardian Side. is Dark Side. Yeah. In Superman the Animated Series, Dark Side. In... Uh, I, Justice heard, League Unlimited, Dark Side. I, I, I swear I can't hear somebody say Dark Seed. Uh, but no, it, it is Dark Seed. Even the toy collector on Discovery Channel or whatever calls him Dark Seed. This is a guy whose dude, job dude, it is dude, dude, to dude. find toys. Right. Aliens. 
Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so this past um, this past uh, Friday, uh, the world finally got um, it's it, it's it, it's Nintendo geek on with the reveal of the Nintendo Switch. Uh, for those who've missed it, the Nintendo Switch is the um, the next system after the Wii U that Nintendo's bringing out. Um, it's going to be a, uh, it's a three-way system. You can play it on your TV. Ooh, a three-way? It's a three-way. You can play it on your TV. Uh, you can take it off the, um, the the charger and use it as a handheld, or you can put it on your table and play it on your table. Um, it's retailing for $299.99, so $300. Um, it's pretty cool. They, 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 they showed off the controllers, which the controllers look and sound amazing. Uh, apparently, you're going to be able to hold a controller, and uh, if there's a game that pours ice in it, you're going to be able to tell how many like pieces of ice there are in the glass. The liquid's got like all this weird, awesome technology. Um, I'm not saying that's an actual game. I'm just saying that's an example that they use. <laughs> uh, the games they got for this thing, the area is 80 games in production. Um, they've got some pretty cool launch titles. They've got uh, Zelda, of course, is the big one uh, that they're bringing out. Uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild. Um, and then the next day, of course, uh, all the reservations sold out because that was when you're going to be able to reserve it. I got my reservation. Uh, I was ninth person in line at games at our local GameStop. Um, nice. And there was a uh, special edition master. Uh, set of that Zelda game where it came with a case and like uh, a statue of the Master Sword and a coin and all these other cool stuff. Fucking GameStop had only like four, four of those damn things or four or six of those reservations. <laughs> and like I got up there just as the guy before me ordered the last fucking one. <sighs> so I got the standard edition game. Um, I'm I'm looking really I'm really looking forward to this. They, they've announced all these different games, all these different third party. Like they actually that was a big complaint with the Wii U. Wii U didn't have enough third party uh, companies making games. They have a slew, a huge amount of uh, third party. Uh, case in point, they're having to have a uh, a uh, version for the Switch of Skyrim, which um, I might actually go ahead and grab. See, I. <clears throat> Even though I have it on 360. I, I had Skyrim on. Uh, PS3, mm -hmm. I couldn't really get into it. It's just so slow moving. Just I liked it. I liked it all right. Um, I mean, yeah, it's it's cool for open world gameplay and everything, but just so slow. It takes forever to get from one one town to the next. There's no fast travel options. Or I like that simple fact. It's realistic. Yeah, I liked the realistic. Plus, we all real as realistic as you can get with freaking dragons in the game. <laughs> um, they got they went down on Splatoon 2, which I haven't played the first Splatoon. Mm -hmm. um, but the excitement of the second one has got me kind of wanting to <laughs> play it. Uh, they announced Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So, so a lot of people are upset because a lot of the games they're bringing out are already available on other, you know, like the Wii U or other systems. But uh, the Super Mario 8 Deluxe, had, they added extra characters and uh, they added a battle mode this, which I guess the previous one didn't have a battle mode, and they added all these different tracks for the battle mode. Uh, I haven't played a Mario Kart, I think. So. I have Mario Kart 64. 64. 64, there was the last one. Um, but it looks cool, it looks great. I might actually pick it up. I mean, I'm, I'm seeing myself doing what I didn't do with the Wii U, which was A, get excited, um, and B, oh, this game's coming out soon. I want. I think I might want that. <laughs> this game's good. Wii U didn't have that. Um, something. Another awesome game that's coming out in the holiday uh, area here is the Super Mario Odyssey. And Super Mario Odyssey is going to be um, one of the levels. Is more. He looks like he's in the real world. He's in, uh, I guess, Donkey Topia, but it looks like um, New York City. Okay. Um, and then there's other worlds that look more Mario-esque. Um, it looks really cool. Um, if you play Mario Galaxy, you know, he had a little star friend of Snimey. He has his hat. There's something with his hat where he can use it as a weapon. And if he throws it out in the middle, he can step on his hat to get to another platform. 
So, what's that villain's name from uh, 007? Hot <laughs> job. Yeah, hot job. Uh, so Mario is becoming odd job. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the game looks pretty cool though. They didn't. You can tell what they were showing wasn't finished. That's why it's coming out during uh, the holidays. Plus, uh, a lot of the games like Splatoon um, or Splatoon Two isn't. That's not coming out till the summer. Mario's coming. A lot of a lot of people are upset about that. I understand because. They have. They need to. They, if they put everything out at launch, what are they going to bring out during the summer? What are they going to bring out during the holidays? So, um, I'm thinking I've, one. Uh, once I get some time for a break, because I've been just kicking it into turbo on the cranking out these videos. World. This is what I used to do all the time. <laughs> and just having them back up so that whenever my se work season starts, I have some saved up so I don't have to well like, we're like we're gonna do some uh, reviews we're gonna I'm gonna be reviewing uh, filming anyway some uh, more He-Man stuff I'm gonna be filming some more Star Wars stuff uh, next time next week when we come back and film uh, I'm probably gonna end up doing a couple of play sets I want to do the uh, uh, ad act from the Rogue One right I want to do that because uh, that's just a really awesome freaking vehicle slash we, play set. we need to come up with a specialty Review uh, like Pixel Dan reviews Ninja Turtles and He-Man figures. He does other stuff, but that's oh. his specialty. Uh, and then uh, Shardimus Prime's specialty is the uh, uh, Transformers figures. I haven't heard of Shardimus Prime. But yeah. heard, now I'm gonna. I, I would like to go ahead and give a big shout out to Pixel Dan. Um, again, he's been uh, somebody I've I've kind of watched and got some techniques down from him. Uh, not trying to steal from him, but I do occasionally find myself going, hey guys, <laughs> or it's comparison time. <laughs> um, I do find myself occasionally doing that. I kind of try to, I, I don't want to be like, oh my God, I just stole from him. He's going to be pissed. Since you um, talked to him on Facebook. I have a you, few times, yeah. You really need to ask him if he would want to come on the show sometime. I, I mean, it's not ask. like he... It, worst, he worst he can say is right. no. Or, I mean, it's well, not like the, he lives... Super far I guess, away. Well, I guess well, the worst he could actually say is, "Who the hell are you?" <laughs> I don't think he would. Though. No, no. Did you know he used to be a wrestler? Really? Yes. I did he, not. Know I that. did not. He he posted a picture of himself. He he was a wrestler. Uh, actually, he wrestled with a uh, guy who used to work with at Stratus Foods uh, called Truck Taylor. Truck Taylor. T R U C Taylor. Uh, cool dude, by the way. But yeah, I, I blew my mind. I didn't know. I wonder if that was his name. Pixel Dan. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen from blah, blah, Illinois, Pixel Dan. <laughs> I don't think that would strike fear into the hearts of um, no. anyone. Really. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dan. Um, and I definitely plan on giving him a shout out. So, hey, like, you know, we kind of name dropped you in our podcast positively yeah. we're made funny of your wrestling thing but positive <laughs> <laughs> i thought it was cool the garbage is over here um i thought it was uh it was pretty cool to find out that he did that and uh and another thing i liked about dan like about dan is uh he's always you know, so yeah, Gary, he's always willing to um talk to his fans you know he'll comment and so he's a pretty cool guy uh he has facebook dan yardley or you can look up Pixel Dan. It used to be PixelDan.com. I think it just changed it to Pixel Dan recently. So look those up on Facebook. He's always posting reviews. He just posted uh, some Madball reviews for the new Madball series coming out. Mm -hmm. I haven't watched it yet. And if you're interested, he also posted a review of a leg legendary Voltron figure. He has all five lines. He goes over those. So check nice. those out. Uh, but yeah, we need to come up with a specialty toy line to review that hardly anyone else is reviewing. Because like I said, Charmus Prime is doing Transformers, Pixel Dan does He-Man and Ninja Turtles specialty. I, we've, we've done a lot of He-Man and yeah. Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Uh, again, I'm not, I'm not trying to steal from anybody, but it just happens that, you know, I mean, this is a great, you know, series to, you know, review. Yeah, great it's, toy line, it was, gets a lot of views. It was my favorite as a kid, and I like to share that, you know. Yeah. So I'm actually looking at the vintage He-Man and Skeletor right now. <laughs> With uh, with Battle Cat and Panthor, yeah, and this is how I pretty much have him displayed. I always have He Man displayed with his axe in his hand. Um, I prefer the more mini comic version of He Man mm. than the uh, Adult Animated Series. Obviously, I grew up with it, but I always found you know 
the fact that him and Skeletor having to fight to find the two halves of the power sword enter Castle Grace, but I thought it was that made for an awesome story. Mm. And that's something that we never got in the animated series. Right. In any of the animated series, so. Uh, maybe I'll bring that in sometime, too. I got the actual Dark Horse mini, uh, the book that has all the mini comics in it. Nice. And that's just He-Man. It has He-Man, She-Ra, New Adventures, Classics. Yeah. Very nice. It's a big, freaking thick book. Um, anything else you want to talk about before we go on to toy reviews, John? I was up all night peeing. Lost a lot of weight, probably. <laughs> Water weight. Yeah. <laughs> Did you drink a lot of tea? I drank a lot of milk. Hmm. Uh, just bought a... Normally, I'd be coming out the other side. I bought a gallon of milk last night at around midnight. I brought it home. By the time I went to bed, it was over half gone. <laughs> Save your money. Go buy the cow. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll be back, guys. Yep. All right, guys. We're back. We finished filming and everything. Finished recording the podcast. I was talking to my wife on the phone. John was looking at his phone. And we found out some possible news for you guys. So um, I'm on uh, Facebook, and I got uh, comicbookmovie.com as um, one of my likes on there. So they're constantly posting stuff. And one of the things they posted was apparently Ryan Reynolds posted a picture of himself, Hugh Jackman, and Pierce Brosnan in a see no evil, hear no over evil, speak no evil pose. Hugh Jackman would also post a picture with all three of them in the same room together, kind of like smiling and laughing together. I haven't heard of anything as far as Pierce Brosnan being casted in the Deadpool 2 movie. Uh, there were there was rumors or almost confirmation that Hugh Jackman may appear in the Deadpool 2 movie. Could Pierce Bronson be our Cable? Because I know Ryan Reynolds wanted to go older with that role, which I would be okay with, kinda. But I'm trying. If, to if they're gonna head. go if they're gonna go older for Cable, then they need to get Sean Connery. <laughs> Maybe too old. He still has a cannon he has to hold. Um, I mean, I'd be. But able... don't you think Sean Connery would be perfect? Well, my issue, my issue isn't Pierce Bronson as Cable. My issue is a British Cable, <laughs> which we were joking of trying to do a Cable with a British accent, and I just don't see because he's you know he, he's he's what, what, what was his classic line in uh, the Lone Man from Boise or Borneo? Something? Borneo. And I can't say that in a British accent. <laughs> I tried. Shannon's over here was laughing at me because I couldn't do it. I mean, I, I was. I'm still hoping. For the bad guy in Avatar, honestly, I forget his name, but he has that. He has the cable look. And why yeah. is there somebody yeah, blocking? Yeah. Like they're blocking that door and everything. <laughs> so yeah, your thoughts? What do you What do you think? I mean, Pierce Bronson is cable, maybe. Brosnan. Brosnan. Ugh, I keep calling him Brosnan. Yeah. <laughs> Pierce Brosnan is cable. What do you think? Oh man. All joking aside, I mean, he was definitely the last person we'd ever imagine. Yeah. I mean, they're not, they're not even really. I don't know if they're hinting, you know, you know, Brian Reynolds, I don't know if he's hinting. I'm pretty sure that it's kind of, they're kind of confirming it pretty unless much. Unless he could be another bad guy. I mean, they've already confirmed that the cab driver guy is coming back. Really? Yeah. <laughs> he's coming back. But I'm, He had such a small part in the first. Well, so yeah, your thoughts. I. Oh man, I, I don't know. Um, I could see just about anybody else in that role, but Pro Pierce Brosnan. If he wasn't British. Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't want to hear Pierce Bronson, Brosnan with an English accent, honestly. <laughs> I don't know if he ever has done a movie with an English accent, but I don't want to hear it. Like I said, if they wanted to go older with Cable, I could see Sean Connery, to, no, Clint Eastwood. No, 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 too old. We're talking... We're talking like uh, Ron Perlman old, because he he would be the perfect. Because he 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 kind of wants to do it too. Yeah, he would be the perfect cable, really. So I think they're going kind of like that way, that age. But he's again, he's also been in a number of comic book movies. He was Hellboy. He was in Blade Two. Yeah. Uh, he was Beast on Beauty and the Beast in he, the eighties. Yeah, he just uh, he did Pacific Rim. Yeah. Um, I, not I, necessarily comic. The last two weren't necessarily comic book movies. Right. They were turned into comic books later. Yeah. But uh, oh man, um, I don't know. I, I want to be okay with it because I like Pierce Brosnan. But again, I don't know if I can would be able to get over a British cable. Every time I look at Pierce Brosnan, I think of Mrs. Doubtfire. That was the first Come one. on, breathe. 
That was the first movie I saw. Him. That and oh, 007. Oh, it was a drive by fruiting. <laughs> Did you not tip the waiter? This, you could hear you could hear the fruit on his white hair going squish. <laughs> <laughs> that part cracked me. That was Alice and Eddie squish. And then the look on his face, like, did you just give me a piece of fucking fruit? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and of course, James Bond. He was yeah. he was the first James Bond I got to see in theaters. Yeah. So. And then the Thomas Crown Affair. Never saw it. He played a, a he, master thief. <laughs> right. Who <coughs> he stole I'm, the painting, I'm but he didn't actually movie. steal the painting. I mean, I'm familiar with the movie, just I never... I never so, I don't know, tell us your thoughts. Uh, go in the comments below and tell us your thoughts. Um, of course, you know, I mean, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, share. So, yeah, the, um, my name's Cable. That'd be Sean Connery. Cable. Also. Cable. Yeah, he did. Oh, my God. Sean Connery is Wolverine? <laughs> like, old man Wolverine? <laughs> get, get over here, Bob. I'm not through with you yet. Shaver tooth, get you over here. I've got some bones that want to get to know you. Oh, Gene. Oh, Gene. Scott, go wank yourself. She is with me. I'm the best there is. At I'm the I best do. I is at what I do. And what I do isn't pretty. I saw him from Sean Connery to some random Scottish <laughs> yeah. game. <laughs> you went from Sean Connery to Chris Eccleson. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's amazing, isn't it? And now Chris <laughs> <laughs> I'm Cable. Hey. <laughs> Boy, you know, wow. Could you imagine Christopher Walken? <laughs> I can imagine Christopher Walken in anything, all right? <laughs> Christopher Walken as He-Man. I have a power. Wow. Battle cat. Wow. He's green. Why is he green? I don't know why. He's cool. Yeah. Skeletor. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Christopher Walken playing Sean Connery. I can't do it. I can't do it. I've tried that. I've tried Jack Nicholson and Sean Connery once. I nearly blew my fucking brain out my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, do Jack Nicholson. Oh lord, I don't think I have the strength right now. <laughs> uh, I will do that next week. Um, somehow this turned for really weird. Um, Jack Nicholson. As Cable. That'd be cool. Yeah, that would be young Jack Nicholson as Cable. Well, yeah. <laughs> With a little more hair. He needs a wig and some... <laughs> yeah. Because I didn't did ever have hair. Like, he had... I mean, it always looked like he was thin. Yeah, he always, always. had that widow's peak. Yeah, always. I'm, I'm, I'm almost... I mean, if you go back and watch... Even um, in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, yeah, he it, had the... Go and watch uh, the old um, Little Shop of Horrors, the black and yeah. white. He has more hair, but he still has that widow's peak. Yeah. Which is hard to... Yeah. It, freaking tap dancing Christ. All right. Jesus tap dancing Christ. Blues Brothers. Jesus oh. H tap dancing Christ. I Have you remember. seen the light? Yes. Have you seen the light? Yes. Yes. Jesus H tap dancing Christ. I've seen the light. <laughs> Hell Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The band, hell with the band. You remember that? I, I remember the part where in Blues Brothers 2000 where, you know, the light's shining out of him and he mm. magically turns into a Blues The fact that you Blues remember Brothers. more about Blues Brothers 2000 than the original makes me sad. Because that was a horrible movie. Yeah, it was. John Goodman as a Blues Brother. I like I like John Goodman. I, I, I had no problem with the casting. No. The story was just fucking ridiculous. Yeah, um, I don't know what the hell they tried. They tried to combine the original with a newer take on it. I think. Yeah. It, just, it was it didn't work. They needed to do an actual sequel. Like the closest thing they did to an actual sequel was hint. They didn't come right out and say that Jake died, but they hinted at Jake that Jake died. They never came right out and said, you know, Jake died. All right, guys. So, um, how the hell are we going to cable the movie? <laughs> Jesus. Dan Aykroyd as Cable. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Murray as Cable. I'd be okay with that. <laughs> he fucking blows up Apocalypse. We came, we saw, we kicked its ass. <laughs> so, you know, he, he, he's, he's the, 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 the page of the It looked like turd, but it's not. <laughs> All right, Bill, take us out of the show. So be good, for goodness sakes. 
Whoa, somebody's cable.